there welcome back to lima bean living if you guys are new here my name is emily welcome to my little motherhood channel in today's video i'm making gender reveal cupcakes for my brother and sister-in-law and i am not actually making the cakes to be the part of their gender reveal i will show their gender reveal at the end it is so funny and so awesome so make sure you stick around for that but for these cupcakes i decided to go with my chocolate cake that i have made in a previous video but i will also post my recipe below in the description box if you don't want to go and check out that other video as well but it is a chocolate cake. We use some coffee, um, buttermilk, eggs, you know, the normal stuff, and mix all the dry ingredients together. Then we pour in the wet. I like to throw in my coffee first because it's hot, and then once that's kind of mixed in, I add the eggs so that they don't cook. And I made a double batch for this recipe because I knew that I was going to be making a lot of cupcakes and it doesn't hurt to have some leftover. And my family loves this cake, so the more leftover the better. So I made a lot, and I mean a lot of cupcakes. And I used this ice cream scoop and it pretty much fills up the cupcakes to the perfect amount so that we have a nice level top after it's done baking. So if you don't have one of these, um, just kind of fill it up maybe a little bit more than halfway, three fourths of the way up the top. And then at the end, I just had a little bit of batter left over and so I made some mini cupcakes. So I let the cupcakes just kind of sit aside and cool and I made some chocolate ganache, which is about equal parts of chocolate and heavy whipping cream. Although I did a little bit more chocolate because I wanted it to be a little bit more of a fudgy consistency. So after I microwaved that for like two sets of 30 second intervals, it was just hot enough to melt everything. So I mixed that together, let it cool just a bit, and then I filled a piping bag, and then it was time to start preparing my cupcakes. So I take this little pizza cutter and I wrap it with saran wrap, and I use that to kind of hollow out the centers of the cupcakes without having to remove any of the cupcake. And then I fill those little crevices with my chocolate ganache. That way when you bite into it after it's been cooled in the fridge, it's more fudgy and firm and it's just a nice little surprise on the inside. Then it was time to move on to making the buttercream. I made a triple batch, which was way too much <laughs> for these cupcakes. I probably would have been okay with a double batch, but it was okay, I ended up using the frosting in a unique way later on, I'll show you. But we beat this butter for at least five minutes. We want it to be nice and light and fluffy and get a really close to white kind of look. And then it's time to add in our powdered sugar. I added in about a bag and a half of powdered sugar and that seemed to be the perfect amount. You can kind of give and take, it doesn't need to be perfect just to get the consistency that you're looking for. Then I added in a little bit of heavy whipping cream and about six teaspoons of vanilla because I wanted to make this be a vanilla buttercream so that I could dye it blue and pink for the gender reveal. Normally I would pair my cupcakes up with chocolate frosting, but this combo really turned out great as well so I'm happy to go either way in the future but this is fun because we can make this colorful with chocolate frosting you can't do that as you can see my mixing bowl was quite largely filled so I decided to transfer half of that to another bowl and I was going to color uh, each of these bowls separately because I didn't want you know the colors to mix and I didn't want a purple frosting so the remaining half I mixed in the mixer and I used blue food coloring I had to add more than I thought I was going to just to get a nice pale blue but not too pale and then the other half I used like a neon food coloring that we had on hand and I mixed it by hand and let me tell you that was a workout. <laughs> then it was time to try this little swirl technique. So I laid out some saran wrap on the counter and then put like a line of pink frosting and a line of blue frosting down. I probably put too much but it it ended up working out for me. <laughs> so 
Uh, you lay these two rows down and then you roll up the saran wrap so it makes a nice little tube and then you can cut off one end and I dropped it into my piping bag with the 2D Wilton tip, I believe. Uh, 1M also is a great tip for this type of decoration. And then it's time to pipe and I just did a, from the center out like a little swirl and it makes a nice cute little rose look and I had to refill my bag towards the end here so I switched that out and like I said I had way too much frosting so I went back and topped off all of these cupcakes with an additional little level of frosting just to kind of give it more of that I guess bakery look where you have like half frosting half cupcake and I figured the frosting lovers would be happy and people who don't like the frosting that much or don't like that much frosting can just kind of scoop it off and, you know, not enjoy it. But that way, at least the frosting lovers were happy. <laughs> so I'm really happy with how this turned out. This was my first time trying the swirl technique and I think it's gorgeous. My brother and sister-in-law were super happy with how it turned out. They thought it looked really professional kind of makes me want to do this for a living <laughs> and the people at the party loved it too they actually had some donuts there but my cupcakes seemed to be more popular and like i said because i still had even more frosting left over after doing that double layer on the cupcakes i went ahead and baked some funfetti cookies and then just kind of decorated the tops with the frosting and brought that to my in-laws so they really enjoyed it it was a great pairing i'll probably do that again but anyways i wanted to thank you for stopping by my channel if you guys are new i'd love for you to subscribe for those who continue to come back i appreciate you so much and i hope you enjoy my brother and sister-in-law's gender reveal i'll catch you in the next one so happy to have you. We post videos every Monday and Friday on a variety of content, lifestyle, cooking, cleaning, military life, DIYs, encouraging mathematical development in children, and so much more. Thank you so much again for watching and until next time.